Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is uh, part two of the door opening tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to open the door uh, if you have uh, a key. And um, as I said, it's a following tutorial from uh, from the other open door where I showed how to uh, open and close the door with the uh, either going uh, to the door or with uh, a key press and uh, I will leave a link in the description for that video yeah let's get to it so the first thing that we will need to do here is we will make a key so let's create a new 3d object in this case it will just be a cube but this could be a key and this one we will name key. The box collider we will need to set it as a trigger. <coughs> the tag we will tag it as key. If you don't have the tag, press the add tag, add the key here, press the key again, and tag it as key. When that is done, go into the movement script as we made in the to tool before this one. In here, <coughs> we will need to add a public integer called key, am key amount. And in the bottom of this one, we will make an on trigger event. So uh, let's just say on trigger enter. And he will say if other dot tag is equal to key. Oh, I forgot something there. <coughs> then our key amount <coughs> plus equal one, and then we will destroy the key afterwards, so it's not laying on the ground and you can pick it up uh, ten times like this. <coughs> So now when we go, go into Unity and hit the play button and if you press your player here you can see here in the inspector we have key amount and when I enter this cube it goes to one and the key is gone. So how to use it at the door? Let's open the door script. In here, we will need to first get a reference to our player, and we can do that by say private uh, movement, and for we can just call it uh, keys. And in the start function, we will say keys is equal to find object of type, and this will be our movement script. In your case, it's probably a player script. Uh, I should rename this, but uh, that will do that later. Then the only thing that we have to do here is in our update, we are checking if if it's open, it's true, and we are pressing the, the E key. Now we also need to check and <coughs> keys dot key amount is greater or equal to 1. If that is true, then we can open the door. And of course, we also need to say keys dot key amount minus equal 1. <coughs> so you will minus 1 key every, when you open the door. Let's save the script, head back to Unity, let it compile. Let's hit the play button. So now if we go to the door, and do not pick it up, I am not able to open the door. And if I go to the key, let's check it here, I got a key now. We can walk through the door, hit the E button, and somehow it closed right away. Why did it do that? Two <coughs> I figured out why. And this is because in here 
if you see here we are saying if we enter the collider where the door is, is open is true. So here we are actually already setting it to true one time. So what I mean with that is if you see we take the key now, we hit to the door, hit the E button and it closes. So it actually works. What was the problem then? <clears throat> I think it's because if I go to the door before and hit back again, take the key and go there as well. Yeah, now it do, does it. Just so I'm back again and uh, sorry for all this confusing. I was just <coughs> getting a bit confused myself. Uh, I've just found a way to, to fix it and we can do that in uh, if you open up the door script we can say private bull is closed and this one is true from the get go the door is closed and then here when we open the door the is closed is equal to false and then down here we can say if is closed equal to true or oh, to false sorry <coughs> to false then we can set this so now let's head back to unity <coughs> hit the play button now if you walk walk over to the door nothing happens you can't open the door you can now take the key go to the door and open it up and it will close so now it works <laughs> again sorry for uh, all this confusing uh, but uh, thanks a lot for for watching this tutorial and if you want to see uh, more tutorials then uh, please hit the like and subscribe button below thank you